Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number five, the People's Democratic Party has disclosed that over 250 female aspirants have purchased the party's expression of interest and nomination forms for the 2023 general elections. The National Women Leader of the PDP, Stella Efa Ato, made this known at a meeting with some of the aspirants on Monday in Abuja. Mrs. Efa Ato urged the women to aim at winning elections and not stop at merely participating in the exercise. At number four, Elon Musk has agreed to a deal to buy Twitter for about $44 billion. This was confirmed on Monday after Twitter agreed to be taken over at $54.20 its share. In a statement announcing his acquisition, Musk promised free speech while revealing that he intends to transform the platform by making it private. He said, free speech is the bedrock of a functioning democracy and Twitter is the digital town square where matters vital to the future of humanity are debated. I also want to make Twitter better than ever by enhancing the products with new features, making the algorithms open source to increase trust, defeating the spam bots and authenticating humans. At number three, the Independent National Electoral Commission says fresh registration in the ongoing continuous voter registration has hit 8,554,512. The figure was reached as of 7 a.m. on Monday, April 25th. INEC disclosed this in a CBR update released in Abuja on Monday night. It said 5,111,899 registrants had completed their registrations, with 2,228,913 via online and 2,882,586 through physical registration. Of the total number of registrants that have completed their registration, there are more female registrants than male. At number two, the World Health Organization has said Nigeria is expected to receive approximately 9 million doses of oral cholera vaccines. The World Health Organization country representative, Walter Mulombo, said this while speaking at the opening ceremony of the Global Task Force on Cholera Control Training on OCV request and campaign planning in Abuja on Monday. Mulombo said the expected vaccines will ensure the implementation of the two campaigns in 14 local government areas across nine states, including the Federal Capital Territory. He also said this would significantly mitigate the risk of an upsurge of cholera cases, especially during the rainy season. At number one, the former president of the Senate, David Mark, has been appointed the chairman of the Presidential Screening Committee of the People's Democratic Party. The nine-member committee was announced in a communique issued by the party's National Organizing Secretary, Umar Bature, on Monday. According to the statement, the PDP presidential screening will hold on Friday, April 29th at the Legacy House, Maitama, Abuja. The David Mark-led committee is expected to screen at least 17 presidential aspirants who had purchased and submitted the forms before the deadline. That's all for now. Please do well to get your permanent voters card as the 2023 general elections is almost here. See you next time on What's Happening.